Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian. We recently visited Bell's Amarillo Assembly Center in Texas to check out a demonstration flight of the company's V-280 Valor tilt rotor aircraft. The June 18 flight came on the six-month anniversary of the aircraft's maiden flight. Bell, a Textron company and the sponsor of our Defense and Aerospace Business Report podcast, has developed the Valor for the medium lift element of the U.S. Army's future vertical lift program. After the demonstration, we caught up with Ryan Anger, the V-280 program manager. We asked him about the flight, the Valor's technical achievements, and the myriad of tests that happened far from the flight line. This is the six-month anniversary of the V-280's Valor's first flight in December 18th, 2017. What we just saw today was a first look at some of the remarkable capabilities of the V-280 Valor and the tilt rotor configuration. Uh, what we're seeing here, the low speed agility, the high speed uh, maneuverability, and the high speed uh, in general, uh, is really a first look at what the capability is in the future and really a midpoint check at how we've expanded the envelope to date with over 38 uh, flight hours. They're on the go. I'll highlight that uh, with the exception of pitch attitude and the rate of acceleration, right now the aircraft feels, flies, and is as maneuverable as any advanced helicopter. We've got, as I mentioned, 38 flight hours on the aircraft and over 105 uh, rotor turn hours. So we've got a significant amount of time with the aircraft, with all the systems uh, operational. Uh, in that flight period of uh, 30 38 hours. We started with low speed uh, operations, moving into uh, cruise mode flight uh, just recently this last month. In that time, we've demonstrated up to 45 degree angle of bank, 30 degree per second yaw maneuvers. We've done uh, 360 degree Higgy maneuvers, roll on landings, uh, et cetera. Really feeling out the aircraft, correlating our analytical models to the flight test data. So far, the aircraft is getting very high marks from the test pilots with regards, with regards to hover control and stability, even without full augmentation. It hovers nicely below 10 feet, giving us high confidence for excellent precision hover capability on the final product. We're really going a lot of different directions with the air vehicle, expanding both high speed and low speed uh, at the same time, going to and from the run stand, depending on what the test requirements are. So uh, really, we're very optimistic about the future and hitting our KPPs of 280 knots, 6K95, uh, and excellent low speed agility. We will now perform the pirouette. The pirouette they're performing combines both lateral and yaw motion of the aircraft. Remember that the pilots are flying this maneuver in the degraded mode, which is a testament to the inherent stability of the aircraft. While this doesn't particularly represent an operational maneuver, it does represent the controllability of the aircraft coupling lateral and yaw motion in low hover with varying wind direction, which is critically important for low speed maneuverability and why we think we will achieve high agility at the X when this aircraft is complete. So before you see the flight test aircraft uh, do its thing, there's years of work behind the scenes. Um, everything from gearbox testing, over 800 hours of laboratory test time, uh, component safety of flight testing, component endurance testing, et cetera. And while you're watching the aircraft fly uh, and the pilots doing a phenomenal job as they did today, what you're not seeing is the telemetry room and all the engineers and the test director back there monitoring every aspect of the flight, measuring over 2,000 data codes that are coming in in real time helping us correlate to analysis and helping us to make sure the aircraft is continuing to fly safely. The point of the JMR program, the joint multi-role program, which the V-280 is, uh, is a part of, is to inform uh, and reduce risk for future vertical lift. So what we're doing and what we've been doing for the past five or so years is informing the requirements and reducing risk for future vertical lift. What you saw out there today was, uh, was a mature level of technology demonstrating the higher speeds and the low speed agility. GMR program for us started really in 2013, working hand in hand with our U.S. government partners. That's been an extremely collaborative uh, and rewarding relationship from the beginning through first flight uh, and even through the demonstration today. Valor maximizing emission affordability really in two ways. First, uh, significant reduction in airframe cost or air vehicle cost, and that's really afforded to us by um, our focus on affordable technologies and affordable manufacturing, really simplifying the design and manufacturability of the aircraft. So that's uh, uh, you know, that's part A. Part B is really mission effectiveness or the value um, 
of the speed and the range. And the value of the speed and range, you can get there quicker and you can go a long uh, distance without having to refuel. So all the assets and the logistics required to support those refueling operations at what would be a midpoint for another vehicle, uh, you just don't need with a tilt rotor configuration. And that's where the real value proposition comes in. The rear size and increased flapping capability of the V280 over the V22 exceeds that of the legacy capability, giving it much greater control power and agility at the X, as well as reduced rotor downwash. So we've got over 60 years years of, uh, of tilt rotor experience, to, starting with the XV3 first flight in 1955, leading up to the XV15 first flight in 1977, and then the V22 first flight in 1989. Each one of those platforms learned a lot from the platform before it and, uh, and really developed technology uh, at increasing levels as we understood more and more about how tilt rotors work uh, and how they fly. We're at a point now, again, capitalizing on the legacy of V22 and its success, uh, taking those lessons learned into the V280. Um, and as a next generation tilt rotor, um, doing things more reliably uh, and more affordably uh, than our predecessors. Team Valor is uh, obviously Bell and a host of industry leading teammates um, that have been with us again from the beginning to include the U.S. government in every step we've taken uh, throughout the program. And what you're seeing out there on the flight line, what you saw fly earlier today, is really a culmination of all of industry's um, uh, collaboration on Team Valor. For V280, uh, the sky's the limit. We're enjoying flight tests, we're learning a lot, we're expanding the envelope, and we're looking forward to hitting our KPPs, key performance parameters. And we're capitalizing on over 400,000 flight hours of the V22 tilt rotor configuration, uh, successful flight hours, uh, also including combat flight hours in that time. So we're taking those lessons learned. We're very excited to incorporate those on the V280. As you saw today, uh, we're making great headway in our flight test program, and we're looking forward to continuing.